Hi guys, so let's learn new rules by Dua Lipa. This is Jason here from Nathaniel. So basically the entire song is pretty much on C major, uh, rather uh, A minor, which is its relative minor. Uh, so A, A minor borrows the chords from the main parent scale, which is C major. So let's first look at all the available chords on the piano or, or wherever, and then you can use that to play the song, which is going to be a chord progression from the C major scale, right? So C major has the one chord C major, the four chord F major, the five chord G major, and then of course the minors, the two minor, the three minor, which is E minor, again two minors, D minor, three minors, E minor, and the 6 minor is A minor. And then you also have a B diminished, which is rarely used. So in the song, as you can see here, the song they use A minor, G major, F major, F major, and G major. So it's essentially A minor, G major, and F major throughout the song. And there's, yeah, you basically play A minor, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 3, 4. So that's A minor four times. That's A minor. Right? So these are the chords if you would just hit them. A minor, G, F, G. And just note here that it's A minor four times, A minor three times, G major once, and then F major four times, F major three times, G, A minor. So when I say three times or four times, it basically means one bar of music, one bar or four beats per bar, right? So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the G major is like a passing chord. It just happens for like one beat of the song. Okay. So if you were to play this on the piano, it may sound good, but it may not sound as groovy. So in the original, there's a nice pattern which is developed. I guess it's a very electronic marimba like pattern. Sort of the sound you'll hear in maybe songs like Shape of You. Um, but the pattern is quite unique. So let's, apart from the chords which I just told you, also try to learn the rhythm pattern which is there pretty much for the entire hook. Okay, so that's played. I would say you could play that in your left hand. So I've written this down. The first A minor chord is played as E A C. So that's E A C. And then the G major chord is played as G B D. The F major chord is played as FAC, traditionally, right? And then the last G major chord is played as GBD, sorry, DGB. I'm telling you in the order. And the rhythm is quite unique. Okay, so the first, let's look at it bar, bar by bar. So this is the first bar, EAC, EAC and EAC. Let's see how it goes. 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a. So basically the O uh of the 1 and the O uh of the 3 and the on of the 1. So it's 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and So this is line 1 rather bar 1 and then it goes to bar 2 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a so it's pretty much the same the a minor starts it off 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a and a so there's this single note g played higher so it's like 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a Let's do that again. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. 
So let's do li line one and line two, or bar one and bar two together. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a little faster. And then goes to next bar. So let's try to study the next bar, which is F A C. That's your F major. So what's common in the first beat is always the occurrence of the one and the a uh of the one, right? So you have one e and a uh, two e and a. Uh. So here you have an additional single note F, which I'm playing here with my pinky finger on the piano. So you have one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four. Okay, and then another common occurrence is a chord at the a uh of the three. So I'm doing one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and E and so E and the and of the four play D and the G. Let's do line three again. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a repeat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and so these are single notes. High D, high G. This is low F. And a two E and a three and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a on speed and line four or bar four is pretty much the same as this. It's just that, well, this is common. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So you have that four E and a sorry three E and the and of the four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Let's repeat that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Let's do line three and line four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Repeat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One E and a two E and a three E. Okay, and then it the whole thing loops. So. So that's how the unique pattern is played. So it's a combination of chords and single hits. Um, another thing you could do, perhaps at the chorus, where you don't have to play this hook. This hook is pretty much there in the verse, and also a little bit of it in the pre-chorus. So once you come to the chorus, you could start playing the chords in the right hand. And uh, I've developed a pattern which works for me in the song. You could even use this throughout the song if you want. So what you need to do is now in another pattern. What I taught you earlier was the hook of the song. That's the main thing which is there in the tune. You can also play the pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then in the right hand. You could play the chords, but target the one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Just basically the on of the one, the a uh of the one, and the a uh of the three. Let's see how that sounds with one chord A minor. What you could also do is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and you could also hit it at the end. A two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e. And just to add some spice, you could add the root of the chord and the octave of the chord. Slower. 
Right, so you have that pattern and then of course during the verse you could pretty much play with one hand. Right, so it's a nice sort of uh, drill to practice 16th note hits which is a very very tricky thing usually on the piano as you're getting forward on the instrument. Right, so hope you guys have fun playing this lesson. There is another lesson which uh, we've done, which will help you count sixteenth notes better. That's a lesson by which I've done on a popular A R M A N song. So do check that out. The link is in the description. And uh, after going through that, hopefully you can also play the Dua Lipa song a lot better. Right. Hope you guys found the the tutorial useful. Cheers, and see you in the next one. Bye.